This year, I have learned how I really am. Before, I didn't realize how sensitive I was, how high my expectations are of myself, how self-critical I am, or how successful I can really be. This is the first year that I've really been challenged in a class, so it brings out the best and worst of me. It has always been apparent that I am sensitive. I never really knew that, because before, I was always the outgoing one, putting myself out there. But what I was really doing is putting out my humor as a bit of a self-defense mechanism. Because if I put my humor out there, people can't get into the sensi sensitive side of me and take a shot at it and really affect me. I was also not very aware of how high my expectations really are, or how self-critical I am. For me, nothing is good enough. I am very harsh on myself because I never think that I'm good enough. My product quality is always good, but I never think so. For example, I did not think that my final showcase was nearly as good as anybody else's who was presented before me. But the feedback that I've gotten from my peers, family, and Miss Balin has said otherwise. Apparently, my final showcase was much better than I had thought. I also set high goals for myself. I only accept A's, and I only accept the best that I can do. That might lead into why I don't really like group work. I have such high expectations for myself that I tend to lay them on to other people. And most people, including myself, usually can't meet those expectations that I set. So I feel as other people let me down when they don't achieve those expectations, so I prefer to work alone. I never really realized how successful I was when being compared to all of the amazing kids in this program. But apparently, once again, my peers and Ms. Balin seem to think otherwise. I have produced good products, I can usually speak publicly pretty well, so I should cut myself some slack and enjoy the success that I have instead of beating myself up over the failures. I now realize how much change has really occurred this year. I have changed in ways that I cannot imagine. I have created good study habits for myself, a successful work ethic, and I'm now a lot more motivated than I used to be. At the beginning of the year, it was clear, at least to me, that I was a procrastinator. The fact that I have high expectations for myself and was a procrastinator at the beginning of the year did not mix well. I realized that unlike other classes, where I didn't really have to give it my all to be highly successful, I had to put 110% into DLC to strive. I forced myself to develop a good work ethic, so now I know what I have time for, what I can achieve, how will I do, how I will do so, and so on. I am now able to plan how to portray my vision, and once I get into a project, virtually nothing can stop me from finishing the project or getting to a good place in it. I have also grown up. At the beginning of the year, I was, in Miss Balin's word, a scrawny, short little kid, but now you are all grown up. I really think that I have matured. I used to be a spaz at the first half of the year, but multiple peers and teachers have said that after winter break, I have come back much more subtly. I can focus on my work, and I have become less wild and more respectable, which could very possibly have led to me becoming an all-star. I think that I have grown less judgmental. At the beginning of the year, I would see someone conjure up some thoughts about them, and if they were negative, I wouldn't really like the person. But now, I still conjure up those thoughts, but I don't necessarily listen to them as much. I talk to the person and get to know them before I make any real judgments. I really enjoy my perfectionism and high expectations, even though sometimes they can be hindering because I think that it pushes me to go farther than I normally would be able to. I never give up, which assures success eventually. So, that means a brighter future for myself, which I always strive for. If you know me, I'm always talking about how I want to go to Harvard, and that is a very big accomplishment that takes a lot of motivation and to achieve. My projects always turn out to be good enough to earn an A, which is what I really want. These qualities have helped me to become such a hard worker. I have had some problems with the bigger picture. Sometimes I go straight into an activity without looking at the bigger picture. For example, when I was brainstorming ideas for my final showcase, I thought of one that I liked, started writing my script before I even did any pre-writing or planning. This was kind of hindering because once I started reaching a point where I didn't really know what I wanted to happen next, it was kind of like a writer's block type moment and I had to go back and start planning some more. Also, sometimes I look at the bigger picture first, see exactly what I want, and then move up onto the first step and it fails. For example, with my final showcase, I was going to make a song using just sounds made with paper for the beat and my voice for the melody, harmony, notes, and so on. I already knew exactly what I wanted to see, but when I moved on to the first step, it didn't work out. I have succeeded in DLC looking back at my experiences. I always wanted to be an all-star in the DLC because I really care what other people think about me. I wanted to be somebody who always produces good quality work and somebody people want in their group. I think that I have achieved this goal because I've really realized that even though I'm self-critical, I still get A's on my projects, so that means that I must be remotely good. I usually get good feedback when presenting my projects to the class, and I work hard on them so the hard work must show through. The hard work that shows through 
shows that I really tried to my full potential, and because I tried that hard, my projects must be somewhat good. I have become much more self-aware than I used to be at the beginning of the year. There are many things about myself that I really want to change. For example, I think that I'm very judgmental, and I really care about what people think about me. I don't like those qualities that I have just listed, and I really want to change them because they can be very hindering in most situations. It's good that I'm self-aware, and I know that I am judgmental, and that I really do care about what people think about me, because knowing is half the battle. I have a few goals for 8th grade. The first of my goals is to maintain my spot as an all-star. I really like how it feels when people like your products and think highly of you. I also like the feeling of success, knowing that you finished a hard project and that people acknowledge your hard work. I want to make sure that I stay at the top of my game so that I can continue feeling the success. This is a nice segue into my other goal, which is to continue working on my work ethic. I have a good work ethic now, but definitely not as good as I want it to be. It can get much better because I still procrastinate. I always think that I have time when sometimes I really don't. I'm also not as good at planning as I would like to be. Whether it be my time or the story itself, I can be better at organizing it so that I know what I need to do and when I can do it, so that I do not get lost. Look at me now, look at me now.